Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is your favorite YouTuber reporting live from the kitchen once again. And this time I'm using a water filter as a tripod, but I didn't say I was a professional YouTuber. I just said I was your favorite. So also, I don't know why I did the tongue thing. That just like made me cringe. And also it's just like unoriginal. So I need to spice it up. I need to tell you what I'm doing. I'm making tofu pad thai insert tofu. I feel like I've done a lot of baking videos in recent times, but it's been a second since like we really chefed it up. You know, like we were little like bakers, like ooh, making little pumpkin bread, but today we're like chefing it up. So this chair is also like bothering me. I don't know why it's like creaking, but so I'm gonna cut this tofu first. I already started as you can see, but here she is. Okay, this chair is gonna like drive me insane. Okay, what if I switch it for another stool? Wait, do you, wait. So it was that stool that was the problem. Okay, anyways, let me like tilt this down so at least you can see what I'm doing, you know, because we are food networking it up today. Basically, I'm off of school for Thanksgiving break. Everybody celebrate. celebrate. I don't know why I sounded like sarcastic with that. It is very exciting because I mean, we know if you've just like listened to me talk for more than two minutes, as of recent times, you will know that school me and school have not been getting along this year, but that's okay because we have to like be positive or something, like live, laugh, or love, I don't know. And it's kind of annoying because, so there's like two different English classes at my school or like two different English class, English, oh, literally English. Oh my God, there's two different teachers for AP Lang. And I know some other people who have the other teacher and they're like, oh, we're having a party today. And I was like, oh, that's funny. We're having like a seminar in this book today. Um, So I hope that they all enjoyed their party while I was talking about Mormonism in my seminar. But in all seriousness though, we're reading this book called Educated by Tara Westover. And I know it's like somewhat popular of a book and it's actually pretty good. I need not touch my hair while making food. Like I actually am finding it interesting. The whole thing about the book though, just like screams religious trauma i mean that's like literally the theme of the book but like for a seminar like it is an interesting book to discuss so i can't complain too much that's on the bright side unfortunately with math there is no bright side we're just still sad and confused and i kind of took a break from tutoring for two weeks because it kind of just like wasn't helping like i kind of got to the point where i was so helpless but then this unit got like even harder so now i'm like probably should text my tutor. I'm also a therapist. Okay, my mom said to do two things of tofu, but like, I don't know how much, cause this is already not even a full block and it's already made that much. But like, we have this whole little girl here. So I don't know like if we're gonna cut her or save her. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, kind of switching it up a little bit. Let's go to like my recent favorite movies and TV shows. So I saw the Hunger Games prequel, which is the ballads of songbirds and snakes. I had work on Friday night when it came out, but I was like, I'm still really determined cause I want to see this. So we went to the 9.30 showing. So then it finished at like 12.30, but it was so good. Like the acting was really good just like the casting the whole like cinematography of it was like brilliant and i said this in my letterbox review but it felt very like new and fresh but it still felt like a hunger games movie and the way they've been promoting it has actually been really good because i feel like they're not trying to start this new like hunger games reality or like this new series or something it's still like a hunger games movie but they're also not milking the original movies and like using it as a cash grab like it didn't feel like a cash grab to me i don't know what the reviews are really i feel like the way i used to determine like how society perceived a movie was through tiktok but i don't have tiktok anymore so i'm just reading letter box reviews and all of them seem to be pretty positive i think i feel like if you haven't read the book and you don't like it maybe try reading the book i'm not saying that you don't like it just because you haven't read the book but like you don't have to read the book before but i do recommend reading it because it was it was a good read and that's coming from someone who doesn't read books that often just because i don't have a life anymore i just go to school and then i have like a lot of homework or i have work that day and then i normally have work on friday nights but then when i come home i do feel like really relaxed and then all i want to do is watch h2o because i finished mako mermaids which like i've literally finished the show like 1700 times i'm so serious like like, I've probably seen it 15 times. I was obsessed with it in fourth grade and like the obsession has just never left. Like, and I've always loved mermaids. So like nothing too surprising there, but literally for Christmas, I'm asking for like a moon ring that I found on Etsy. You know, like the moon ring that all like the mermaids wear just in hopes that like somebody has seen the show and then sees me in public and is like, are you a mermaid? They're not gonna think that. What they're gonna say instead is, oh, you've seen Makeup Mermaids too. Yeah, I've been watching H2O and I finished season two. So now Emma is gone because they just started season three. But yeah, Charlotte, is gone. It's so weird to call her Charlotte because like I'm so used to hearing it with the Australian accent. So like I forget that there's like an R in her name because they're like Charlotte Nar, you know? Okay, maybe I'm gonna save the rest of this tofu because I feel like we're good on it. I need to get a move on with the tofu because like that's just one step of it. My family's like upstairs and it's like seven o'clock and they're like hungry. So I'm like, let me not starve you guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch. 
It's definitely more than a little. Um, so now I have cumin and then this five spice powder and then also some curry powder. Let so me just put a good amount in there. And then I need to hurry up with the tofu once again because, you know, I can't take forever on this. And then also I have this bad habit where I'll only film like a specific thing and then like rush through everything else. For example, like I'll film myself cutting tofu for 10 minutes, but then I'll be like, okay, let's fast forward and the pad thai is done. And then it was like, you didn't show us any of that. Oh, let me just put this all in here. Okay, but let me roll up my sleeves because we are about to like toss this tofu. Oh, it smells really good. Okay. It looks pretty seasoned to me. It's like really overexposed. Yeah, now I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer so we can get moving. So tofu is in the air fryer and water is on the boil. So that's what those noises are in the background. But I'm hoping we are mature enough to ignore it. Anyways, now we're making the sauce. First, I'm gonna add in some brown sugar. Okay, one. Then I'm gonna add in some fish sauce, which I feel like is the classic like pad thai sauce flavor. So I only had two days of school this week because of Thanksgiving, you know? I feel like all of the US girlies right now are like, no, we don't know. But so I had two days this week. And then yesterday, like I just came to school looking like a hot mess. And then today, so I don't know if you watched my school vlog from last week. If not, it's okay. Like just go back after this, you know? But to get to school on time, I have to leave at like 6.55, seven if we're gonna cut it close. Today I woke up at 6.40. To be fair, like I got out of my bed at 6 40 but my mom came in at like 6 20 6 30 like 6 35 and was like telling me to get up and i was like yeah i know and then i just like did not get up at 6 40 i finally did and then i like got ready really fast and i left my house at 7 05 though i was like maybe two minutes late but my teacher didn't count me tardy and then the seminar actually went good like i was prepared personally and i felt like i like knew the book and like knew what i was talking about so that was good except in the last five minutes of the seminar the fire alarm went off was there a fire you may ask no does the fire alarm go off somewhat often yes is it ever because of a fire no it is because of other things allegedly let's talk about it's almost spotify rap time and i am not ready like i know it is going to take me out and expose me but i think i'm gonna do like an entire video when it comes out just kind of like explaining myself like i feel like i have a lot of explaining to do when spotify rap comes out also like my podcast telepathy we're a small podcast but if we make it on anybody's spotify raps i'm like when that's gonna be so cool i don't know if that's even like i don't know if that's just wishful thinking but i feel like that would be cool anyways the air fryer just went off i'm gonna check on the tofu actually wait let's check on it together because i have my little handheld tripod and and it's like we're on FaceTime. Oh, okay, wait. It looks good, but I feel like it needs to be like crispier possibly. So maybe like five more minutes, four more minutes. Sometimes I'll just be putting stuff in for random times. Like I'll be like, mm, 30 seconds seems like too little. 40 seconds seems like too much. So I'll put it in for like 34. Okay, I literally had a video of me like putting in the noodles and cooking them and stuff. But then that file just got like corrupted. Like my SD card just like stopped working. So let's just like skip ahead like two minutes. So just like picture me putting in the noodles. They've kind of separated it. I'm gonna go ahead and like strain them. I have the little, I don't know what it's called, like a colander, I think, in the sink. Thumbnail. I'm scared. Okay, like, Ricky and H2O be like, wait, they look good. Do I have to like wash them so they don't stick? Now it is go time. I have this large pan here. I'm just gonna do like two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then I did chop up a tiny little onion. So I don't know how much of a difference this is gonna make, but like in she goes, honestly. Also, sorry, there's no way to frame this where like you can see me and the camera because, or not the camera, the food, because unfortunately I was blessed with just, you know, being so abnormally tall. Wait, I could sit. I like this. Okay. I don't know if this is weird just putting it directly in here, but I'm just gonna... Now what I'm gonna do is crack an egg. So let me like, kind of move everything to one side. I feel like the egg and pad thai is very important. So in she goes. Let me like wash my hands so fast. Okay, it looks a lot worse on the camera, but like I promise it looks like we're getting somewhere, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the noodles. Okay, now we add in the sauce. Why did the eggs scramble weird? It looks a little bit like a breakfast thing, but I mean, I think it'll still be good. So I set the table and like, honestly, I just like don't know how this is gonna turn out. Here it is right here. I'll give you a little close-up shot in a second, but I have some green onions, which I already conveniently chopped. So I'm just gonna put those on top, but I'm like a little scared. Okay, here's my pad thai. And like, I can't tell if it looks good or bad, but like, I guess it all comes down to the taste. And like, why did it taste good? Like, why did I just like do that? Plot twist, it was a success actually. Really good. Mm. <laughs> really good. Mm. Okay, so in typical Enzo Antonio video style, I literally did not record an outro. So this is me. I would like show my face right now, except I don't want to like scar you because I just look horrible. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will see you next time on next Friday because that's when I upload. Okay, comment, like, and subscribe, I guess, or something. Okay, bye.